Hello everyone, my name is Mehdi and welcome to the third episode of Creating Realistic Materials. In this video we are going to learn how to create an amazing wood floor for this kitchen. So without wasting time, let's get started. Same as before, choose the texture you prefer as a color map. With colorization and saturation slider, you will be able to adjust the color of the material. Here in this project, I prefer a dark wood for this floor. So reduce the saturation and also change the color of this material. In the next step, apply normal map and displacement map to this surface. Since we want to show the bumps clear, we have to increase the relief option. Displacement option shows the roughness of surfaces and help you to show bump looks more real. But be careful not to overdo in this option because it may look unreal. For the next step, you should adjust reflectivity and glassiness. Here I don't want a shiny floor, and I prefer a matte one for that. So I'm gonna reduce the glassiness and reflectivity. Between 0.6 and 0.8. Since I would like some reflection on the matte surface, I'm gonna increase the amount of reflection a little bit more than glassiness. Okay, now let's take a test render to see how it looks. I prefer make this texture darker. Also I guess increasing the relief and reflection make this material looks much better. <laughs> 